comedian Bobby Moynihan was already an animated character as a cast member for the past eight seasons on Saturday Night Live. But wait until you see his latest role. He really lets the fur fly in the upcoming animated adventure. Sorry about that. In the animated adventure, The Secret Life of Pets, Bobby plays Mel the Pug, who lives in a New York City apartment building with other four-legged friends. Take a look. We can oh. Get this, last Sunday, my owner feeds me a small white pill, right? I start to feel a little groggy. The next thing I know, I wake up, I'm in the sky. Wait a minute, it's the sky? Yeah, there are suitcases everywhere. I'm locked up in a crate. <laughs> Come on. There are suitcases in the sky? So I pass out from fear, and when I wake up, I'm in Florida. Um, this did not happen. I will never eat a pill like that again, unless it's covered in peanut butter, because I mean, come on, right? It's peanut butter. <laughs> Bobby, welcome. It's true, it's true. It's true, it is. Well, you don't anything eat anything in peanut, peanut butter. butter. It's yeah, true. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Simpatico. Yeah, there so, we go. So I'll see you at lunch. <laughs> so, tell us about Mel. Uh, Mel is Mel is a, a crazy little dog. Uh, Mel is very energetic, likes to run around in circles, spends most of his day uh, barking at squirrels. Um, <laughs> he's, uh, he's a little maniac. Where did that accent come from? As you're sitting there in the animation booth, are you thinking, oh, I'm going to give him a little Brooklyn? Or I think so. You kind of look at that dog and you, you hang your tongue out like that. You start talking like that anyway. Kind of just came out of Is that what you do in the booth? You're hanging your tongue out and talking? A lot, yeah, a lot of panting and, and, and barking and running around sounds. A lot of uh, Mel runs into a lot of things. You do look a little yeah. like Mel. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, keep your tongue out of <laughs> shape. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> so speaking of the barking at squirrels and the grunting and everything else, are you actually making those noises too? Oh yeah, it's it's all that's always a fun little time when you're doing voiceover is just like 20 minutes of just going like uh, 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 and just making any sound you can imagine. Lots of exertion so sounds. Uh, for Mel, it was I said a lot of running into walls. He does a lot of that. <laughs> I, we got the screener early and I've watched it three times. It's my amazing, kids already. Amazing. They love it. They're it's so huge great. fans. So you've never had a dog, though. So. I've never had. I, I've never had a dog. I've had family members who've had dog, but I, I, I never had a, a dog of, of my own. But your pet is a goldfish that has outlived. I had, I had goldfish. <laughs> I won like my orientation day for college. I won like two goldfish at some like fair, and I'm like, these are going to be gone in a week, probably. Yeah. They're goldfish. I think nine, nine years. Too. You're not feeding them. Wow. Nine years. Nine years wow. They lasted. They were kids gigantic. Kids that a goldfish lasts for nine years. It I never know. Happens. And they both passed on the back. same day. Aww. Together. It they were in love. Aww. Aww. Yeah. That's very special. Nine year goldfish. It's hard for me to believe. You've been on SNL one year less than your goldfish. Correct. <laughs> Isn't that insane? Yeah. If you had told 15-year-old Bobby that, I, I, first of all, I'd been like, why does Al Roker know who I am? <laughs> I remember going to Madame Tussauds when I was younger and seeing your wax statue and being like, it's him. And now, now I get to say here. But what is that like for you? I mean, you, you, you're, uh, you are a mainstay of SNL. Uh, yeah. I'm one, uh, one of the longest running cast members almost. It's, it's bizarre. I can't, do you like watching I yourself? can't believe it. Watching myself on SNL, I used to do it a lot in the beginning. Now, now I get nervous and I can't. Now the best part is like when an old SNL episode comes on TV and you're watching it and then you walk in and you're like, oh, hey. <laughs> That's me. I, I don't remember yeah, doing yeah, that. I love it, drunk uncle. Oh, thank so you. Funny. Thank you. Oh, oh, hey, we got a quick, quick game. We wanted to see if you can guess a, a famous, a, fam a first famous pet. Got it. Okay. Uh, first clue: This famous pet uses his owner's toothbrush to groom his ears. Can you name the famous pet? Ew. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> the, I don't know. Is this a real character? It's a real character. Oh. The owner of this famous pet is named John. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, John Hamm's famous toothbrushing dog? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the he famous likes lasagna. The, he loves he lasagna. likes lasagna. Like oh, the God, field. Yeah. Yes. Oh, there you go. You can start with lasagna. Is time for one more? That guy loves Mondays, right? Okay. This famous pet wrote a self-help book named Wish It, Want It, Do It. Can you name the famous pet? Oh. Gary Fisher, Carrie Fisher's dog. No. I actually know this famous one. pet. Mm -hmm. Brian? Yes, Brian from, from Family Guy. From Family Guy. Oh, nice. nice. There you go. There you go. Okay. Hey, well, okay. Well, that's all the time we have for you, Gary. All right. Awesome. Bring out the goldfish for us. Thank you, Thank you so much. Goldfish. The Secret Life of Pets. I did. <laughs> no, I'll see you Another in nine one. years. Buddy, we should have thought of that. <laughs> the Secret I'll come Life of Pets. back for its 10th birthday. From our sister company, Universal, hits theaters Friday, July 8th. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.